Okay, so this is your topic seven, practical, and this is um, effect, uh, looking at respiration rates. Now, in this experiment, you'll be using you'll be using some organisms. Now, your teacher may provide you with maggots. These are mealworm that you can get from a pet shop. <laughs> so disgusting. Here's what you need for this experiment. You will need a water bath. You will need a thermometer just to, just to check the temperature. You need to put a test tube rack inside the water. You will need some coloured dye, a syringe, two boiling tubes, and a large capillary tube, and you will have a scale put on there for you. Okay? And because you might be squeamish like me, you'll need some forceps because I'm not touching those. And you'll need a stop block. Okay. In your boiling tube, you have got um, a chemical on the bottom. This is called soda lime. And what soda lime does is it absorbs extra uh, carbon dioxide that it is appearing, uh, that, that's in the atmosphere. You must not touch this, it's very corrosive. Um, this will be set up for you so you haven't got to touch the soda lime. If there is a breakage, um, you must tell your teacher straight away, don't touch this, it's corrosive. And you must wash your hands afterwards if you do. Okay? The cotton wool on top is to protect you and the organisms that we're going to be using from the soda lime. So, what you'll be doing first of all is, um, you get your soda lime with your cotton wool, and in there you're going to place some mealworm. This is so gross. Now, some of them are going to be dead, some of them, not so much. And you're going to need about five. <laughs> you put five mealworm in there. Then you put this in the test tube rack in your first temperature. I'm starting at 35 and I'm going to go up in five degrees each time, so 35, 40, 45, 50. Your teacher may recommend something else. You must have at least about six temperatures though. I'm going to start at 35 degrees. You put your boiling tube. Um, they're, they're not going to be harmed by the way, so if you have some kind of sentiment towards them, don't worry, they'll be fine. You put this in the boiling tube and you leave it for about five minutes. Okay, this is just so that the um, maggots get used to that temperature, the mealworm, sorry, in this case. So, because I'm just demonstrating it, what you're going to do is you're going to leave that in there for five minutes and then you add your delivery tube and your bung very, very carefully on top. This is a two-person job, but you should be okay. So you seal that like that. Ugh. Okay? Then what you do is you get some dye in your syringe and you insert it right in the bottom of here. Now you want to just put a little bit in there. So you put the syringe in the bottom of the capillary tube and then you just insert a small amount. There we go. And that is going to be used as your Oh, it's coming out. Go back in. Once you put your dye in, um, you're going to have a few air bubbles. Now, you need to pick one of those, those air bubbles because you'll be measuring in five minutes how far that travels across your scale. Okay? Now, I'm going to pick this one. This one right here where it starts at 15. That's my air bubble. So once I've put that in there, I'm going to press the stop clock and I'm going to wait five minutes. Now, this air bubble will move this way. It's because the oxygen that is in here is being used by the mealworm for respiration. So when they're using up the oxygen, and the CO2, remember, is being absorbed by the soda lime at the bottom, this air bubble will come this way as the mealworms start to use more oxygen. In five minutes, you're going to measure how far the air bubble travels up. And then after five minutes, you're going to press stop. So let's say it started off at 15 and it finished at 10, I would say in 5 minutes at 35 degrees that that, tra that air bubble travelled at 5, uh, travelled 5 centimetres. Okay? Now, once you do that, it might leak a little bit, that's okay. Once you do that, 
you need to um, set it up again. So you'll need to this. You can leave the maggots where they are. You need to put a bit more um, dye in the bot in the capillary tube. You need to increase this temperature this time for like for example 40 degrees, and then repeat the experiment all over again. So you inject some dye, and then you wait. Um, how long it you to you measure how long it takes the air bubble to move in five minutes and you do that for at least six different temperatures your teacher can help you out with which temperatures are suitable once you've done that you've got to do the whole thing again but this time you do it with an empty boiling tube so you need a control so this one I should have probably settled first because this didn't make me squeal so you need to make sure that you do this all again but you want it empty so you just put the bung and the capillary tube on here at one temperature and just as a control and the air bubble shouldn't be moving because there's nothing in here doing respiration. So once you've got six different temperatures make sure you note them down all in your lab book and you'll be, you'll be expected to work out a temperature change, uh, sorry a rate change. Um, you need to figure out with your teammates and your teacher which temperature um, causes the bubble to move furthest. Is that because there is more respiration? If there is, why is that happening? Okay, good luck.